little bit more, uh, a little bit more from Lancashire. This is um, another poem um, written by one of the, uh, the School of Lancashire poets uh, from the uh, <clears throat> 19th and early 20th centuries. Um, these are all sort of working class guys who worked in the pits and uh, in the cotton mills, and uh, was the the main uh, the main poet was a guy called uh, Edwin War or Edwin Wolf. As I'm told, his name was pronounced. And he, he was discovered by a friend of Charles Dickens, who uh, got him published in such uh, wonderful publications as uh, the Manchester Examiner. I don't know what that was all about, but uh, this is a, a poem that was uh, written by Sam Fitton, who was one of the later uh, Lancashire poets, and um, he was uh, probably early 20th century. And uh, you can tell from the from the uh, from the subject and uh, I've known this poem for about 40 years and uh, never had the courage to sing the song that uh, became of it um, a guy called Bob Deal who used to play in a band that I was in uh, in the 70s I've only ever been in one band and I got chucked out of that as well and, uh, for reasons I don't, don't usually go into but usually involve women and, um, and Bob's a fiddle player, and he wrote a tune. He usually sort of wrote fantastic sort of reels and jigs, but he, de he decided one day that he'd write a tune for this little poem, and uh, he played it once to me, and it's stuck in my head ever since. So there's only one tune that this song could ever be sung to, and uh, as I say, I was never, I never had the courage to sing this because it's a ladies' song, and um, I actually offered this song to one or two uh, young lady folk singers, and they all turned their noses up at it. So uh, I thought, well. Sorry, I'll sing it myself. And um, it has a, it's called When I Were a Bit of a Lass. And uh, it's got a little bit to sing at the end of each verse, which goes, When I Were a Bit of a Lass. You talk of your modern behaviour and such, your up to date manners and ways. You think that you come to a wonderful pitch, you crumple a pride nowadays. But I wish you'd have lived in my grandmother's time When cheeks were not plated with brass They didn't wear frocks as a kid chaps a shock When I were a bit on a glass Your mum conventions are shoddy and sham You're rather too fine for your talk You'll jostle and crumb in a train and a drum because you're too lazy to walk And when bits of lasses and getting for a tea The thinking the women didn't mass They didn't talk fine No stop out after nine When I were a bit of a lass There were no heavy mashes No folk any ups When I were a bit of a tart They didn't walk out were you tabbing their chops, no smoking and swaggering a lot? And bits of lads then didn't think they were men when sitting at the back of the glass. They didn't go back when their feathers looked black when I was a bit of a lass. Then lasses were lasses, and if they were pillars, they dressed up in sensible rags. They didn't go swaggering with pads in their viewer, no swinging in vanity bags. They had no clock stockings to sport on to crop. They didn't think swanking were class. They'd known so much neck sticking out of the egg when I were a bit of a lass. What you'll have to excuse of my critical views, I'm apt to keep wagging my tongue. I'm apt for the praise of them out fashion days when we were quite happy and young. But when you get out, somebody else will be told as modern behaviour's no class. We're pride you'll impart as your manners were smart when you were a bit of a lie. 